G'day legends, how's coronavirus isolation setting in? If you're like me, you need something to do. So I bought a sun visor to fit on the 75 series Land Cruiser. I've been searching for months and I just bit the bullet and bought the one off eBay. Now, here it is. Comes with some brackets, some instructions, nuts and bolts, etc. Now it says it fits a Toyota Land Cruiser 78, 79 series with a snorkel, eighth month 99 production. Well, that's a HZJ75, so doesn't fit. We just offered it up and sure enough, it doesn't fit. Hence the tape on the pillars, that's there to protect it to make sure we don't scratch anything. People have said you have to trim off the edges but I couldn't find any videos or instructions on how to do it they say around five to ten millimeters somewhere in there so I figure out I'd put a video together and show you all how I did it so uh, stay tuned all right okay so you can see I've taped up some edges to, to mark where I'm gonna cut it both sides approximately, I don't know, eight millimeters. We'll get cutting and then we'll try refitting and see how that works. All right, so we've got the, the trusty angle grinder. Make sure you're wearing safety goggles, ear goggles and uh, your safety thongs. Grab a file, file the edge. Just take off any of those burrs. All right, so you can see we've taped up the edges. No sharp edges to scratch the A pillars. The A pillars are also taped up. And now we're gonna see if it's gonna fit. Alrighty, so we've got it on. It does need a little bit of adjustment. It does look like it's got a little bit too much of an angle. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna trim five millimeters off the topmost corner, right here, and just angle it down. So I'll take it off. You'll see how I do it, and then uh, refit it, real test fit, and hopefully it's good to rock and roll. All right, you can see that edge there, this one. We're just gonna cut this time a little bit more along the straight line of the masking tape, but probably not all that, just leave it probably to there see how it goes and same with the other side the idea is to cut off a little bit and sneak up on it rather than cut too much and think ah oh, fuck okay so on the other side we're just going to do the same thing and this time just going to straighten it off a little bit hopefully that five millimeters will give us a fair bit room and allow us to rock it back far enough that it should fit all right, we've got it to a point now where we're pretty happy with it. It does angle down a little bit still, but it's not too bad. Uh, you can see I've just used these zinc plated bolts just to secure it at the moment. They're not fully tight. The bolts are a little bit too long and they're hitting up under here. So it's about as tight as I can make it for now. 
but I'm at a point now where I'm pretty much happy with it for paint and I'm pretty sure that I won't have to cut anything else off it uh, so we'll send it to the paint shop as you can see she's looking out and she's got no interference it actually sits up higher than the sun visors inside the car so it impedes your your, your vision hardly at all uh, so we'll send it off we'll get it painted and we shall um, go from there righto so we have the visor back from the paint shop now uh, removed the tape that covers the chrome decorative trim turn it over now it also comes with this blue clear tape so it's a blue backing clear tape i'm assuming it's to go over these just to protect protect your a pillars so i'll put them on and uh, then we'll start putting the visor up onto the cab and hope it all goes well as you can see we've put the tape on it's just a matter of folding it over just to protect those sharp edges on the actual car it's not very thick but it looks like it's pretty strong so if we hopefully don't do any damage and just trim the edges and ready to go these are the brackets that it comes with uh, these two here are for the driver's side and the longer one is for the passenger side the reason they're split is to get past the snorkel mount um, and now because this is for a 79 land cruiser i have just elongated the holes just a little bit on all of these just to give me a little bit more room and i've done it on this side of it here okay so the idea is that we just don't have to stretch the visor quite so much one two millimeters is all it really takes uh, these are the bolts that it gives you to do it as you can see they're quite small i'm just going to start it with the big ones then move to the medium ones then when i'm finally there uh, hopefully i can put some clamps in place and use the dome ones that it comes with just as i said it is for a 79 series not for a 75 series and because we had to chop around about eight millimeters off each side because the brackets wouldn't fit uh, we do have to you know get it started and it's easier to get it started with the longer bolts then slowly move down as we tighten it up hopefully it cinches into place and we're all done all right we're about to offer it up now and as you can see i've used 50 millimeter little m6 bolts uh, these are only temporary they're just to get it up there and get it started and then I will swap it over here we are with the finished product the visors on with the original bolts a little bit of a gap uh, it does tilt down just a slight little bit but doesn't look too bad at all. I uh, won't muck around and say it was the easiest thing I've ever done because it certainly took a lot of manipulation. Uh, in fact, a lot of manipulation. If I was to do it again, I'd probably pony up and probably buy the one that was for the 75 and not for the 79 uh, once you chop off the edges it is just a slightly little bit too short so you're really working against the metal
this is the view from inside. As you can see, it doesn't really impede your vision all that much. It's actually pretty good. Both sides. If we pull the visor down. Get it past the mirror. That's the difference. Overall, I'm pretty happy with that. Now that it's on, sit back, enjoy a beer, and till next time.